Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to my How to Build series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a simple door bomb. Now, I did just show this off in my five awesome ways to make jump scares. However, I decided to make its own video because I felt like it deserved it, especially if people don't want to watch my How to Build Five Awesome Jump Scares. But if you do want to watch that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below, and you can go ahead and check out that video after you've seen this one. But it's a very simple design. All we have to do is open up this door, and everything's about to get exploded. And it seems like every time Steve's in the window, something bad happens to me. But this is for the sake of tutorial. As you can see, I am on survival. So when I open up this door, the armor stand falls, and kaboom, we are met with death. So I went ahead and switched it back to creative, and we're going to go ahead and crack through this house so we can see what's going on with this build. As you see, right above the door is an armor stand. What happens is once we open up the door, the armor stand will fall through the door, hit this pressure plate, and activate the TNT underneath, thus bringing us to our demise. So I'll actually do it on creative, because if you do do it in creative without fly mode on, you go soaring into the sky depending on how much TNT you use. So if I go ahead and open up the door, boom, I'll go flying into the sky. So let's go ahead and start up on this tutorial. All right, guys, so normally I give a definite spacing for the build. However, I'm just going to be building it straight up with you guys. So the resources we are going to need for this build are one piston, one block of redstone, three rails, two powered rails, one minecart. Now you will be getting all all of this back this will not go into the final build of the bomb this is just to get it into its position so you'll be getting all of that back we're also going to need as much mine carts with tnt as you want the more you have the bigger the explosion we're going to need a dispenser a flint and steel a wooden pressure plate we are also going to need a armor stand and of course a door of your choice i'm just going to be using an oak door all right guys so once you have gathered up all your resources we're going to start off by building our door frame so come up two blocks right here Skip a block and then come up two blocks again, and then go ahead and change out whatever block you want as you're flooring for the bottom. Then what we're going to do is take out our door of choice. I'm going to be using an oak door, and we're just going to place it in backwards on our door frame. So now our door opens up from the back instead of the front. Next up, we're going to swing to the backhand side of our door, and we're going to go into a sneak mode. That is crouch mode, and we're going to place two blocks off the door. So one, two, then go on top of these blocks right here and place in two powered rails. And then off the front power rail closest to the door, we're going to place in our armor stand. Then we're going to take out a minecart, and then we're going to gently nudge our armor stand until it's just a tiny bit over our door. So go ahead and keep hitting your minecart gently. Do not do it too fast, or it'll end up going in the minecart until it is over the door. So just keep hitting it until your armor stand is just a little bit over that door frame. So let's keep going. It has to be just a tiny bit over it. There we go. Perfect. As long as it's coming just a tiny bit over the door, you see there's the door, and there is the armor stand. As long as it's coming over just a bit, we are good to go. So go ahead and break everything right here. You can collect all this stuff. We no longer need it. Next up, what we're going to do is place two blocks right above your armor stand so come right above it and place in two blocks right above it so one two this is where we're going to need our piston and our power source go ahead and put a piston facing downwards into this block right here and then go ahead and send power to it so boom and then we're gonna go ahead and place our piston down here and go boom like that and now our armor stand is completely concealed so when i open up that door the armor stand will fall down hit our pressure plate and explode everything so now all that's left to do is put in our trap so to place in our trap what i'm going to do is just change out this block to quartz so we can see what's going on right here and then we're going to place our pressure plate right here now do not hit it because if we open up the door the armor stand will fall down and we'll have to reset the whole entire armor stand next up we are going to come right underneath the block that has our pressure plate on it so come right underneath it break the block underneath it and break the block in front of it that's under the door and then place your dispenser right underneath your pressure plate facing towards the door next up we're going to dig down one more block right here take out our regular rails break out this block break out this block and then place all three of the rails going around these blocks next up break these two rails right here make sure to pick them up if you can and then place blocks back in like this then we're going to take out our mine carts with tnt now this is completely up to you the more you add the bigger the explosion so we're going to add our first one like this and then look off the corner till we could see the hitbox of our rail and then keep adding in as much as you want so i'm going to go ahead and just add in uh i'm not even counting <laughs> uh that's enough boom that's enough and then once you feel like you have enough mine carts with tnt in there go ahead and break the rail by looking at its hitbox and then just break it like that Next up, we're going to break out right here, place a block right next to our minecart so we can no longer hit them or touch them, go inside of your dispenser, and place in the flint and steel, and that is it, guys. You are completely done, so let me go ahead and just clean up this area like this, and your door bomb is completely done, and then all you have to do is just, you know, clean up your house, make it look nice. So now all that's left to do is clean up our roof. Now, you could do this kind of roof that I did over here, which is like, you know, this like high roof right here, or you could just simply bring it out like this, put a block right here like this. No, you know what? Let's go up one more. I don't like it when it's right above the door, so you could just come up like this and then go right above like that and there is a nice little roof but once we open up this door everything will explode so here we go guys open up the door and kaboom everything explodes but there you guys have it that is how you build a very simple door bomb if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys
Boop. Peace.